The biggest takeaway into Friday is the latest round of Fed speak, which has leaned back to the hawkish side. These Fed officials reiterated their stance that rates should be kept restrictive for a longer period of time until there is more clear evidence inflation is heading back towards the 2% target. These comments resulted in a repricing of Fed expectations with OIS rate pricing coming down about six basis points to 47 basis points of rate cuts expected in 2024. Psychologically, this could be having a little more of an impact in that it's the difference between two full rate cuts and what is now not quite two full rate cuts. The overall reaction has been mild, but we have seen some risk off flow and move back into the U.S. dollar as a consequence. Elsewhere, Japan left bond purchases unchanged. China data was out on the whole softer than expected. And over in New Zealand, producer prices came in above forecast. Key standouts on Friday's calendar for the remainder of the day come from some ECB and BOE speak, Eurozone inflation data, Canada housing and foreign securities purchases, and a round of Fed speak. That's all for now.